a quick prayer so let's just bow our heads most righteous and heavenly father lord god as we come before you in the name of your son and our savior jesus christ Father, I just pray, Lord God, that you cover us under your blood, Lord. Let your word, O oh God, pierce the hearts, O oh God, of everyone that's here today. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, I ask that you use me for your will, for your purposes, and for your glory, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Can we just say hallelujah? Everybody looks so quiet. Can you say hallelujah? Just give God a praise. All right. So the Lord has been showing me a few things. And... Um, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I'm I'm really shocked. Sometimes it's it's um, overwhelming. Sometimes it's you know a little bit scary. Um, and I've shared a few with pastors. So I'll just give you you know a few. Some I've written down. Some to be honest with you, I've not. But it's stuck in my memory. You know, and it keeps playing over and over and over again. Um, so I was in prayer. I believe this was probably two weeks ago. Or a week ago before the Ukraine and Russia um, war well Russia's war started and um, I was just praying and I started seeing um, you know like your chase app or your banking app and I saw rolling zeros just zeros kept rolling in red and I didn't know what it meant. I was shocked. So, you know, I was like, okay, what is this? So I continued praying and I left it alone. And even on last week's Sunday, as I went into prayer again, I saw the same thing, banking accounts being zeroed out. And I kept praying on it. And up to this morning, I was asking the Lord, what does this mean? What is going to happen? And the Holy Spirit revealed to me that we should, there's, possibly well more than likely going to be an attack on the financial sector so be mindful of your finances keep an eye on your accounts um, I'm not sure you know I don't want to say anything that was not told to me clearly but I, I do know I have a strong urge in my spirit that there will be an attack on or the financial sector also gas as we know is going up and it's only going to keep going up like the holy spirit has been saying to me be mindful of gas as well also i had two dreams which involved the uh rfid chip and i know this is a chip that a lot of people are speaking about that it's the mark of the beast um so i have been seeing the number 666 for a quite a while and I kept praying like why am I seeing this number even when I'm sleeping why am I seeing 666 you know so the first dream I had I saw people who were lined up and there was a lady similar to how this is in Jamaica we call it a restroom or altar and she was standing where I'm standing at and there was a line and people were walking up to her to get food there was no food so everyone had to join the line to get food and I was just standing to the side looking and then someone said to me oh you took the chip in your hand and I said I did not you can't tell me I took it I know I didn't take the chip and they said yes you took it and then I heard the word clearly RFID it was so loud and um, I kept watching the people who kept coming up for food and the person who was given the food was very you know just controlling or or like in authority that word um, and um, it, it just looked like people had no choice but to take it in order to eat um, the second dream I had I saw um, I was fight it was someone else and they said they were in a fight and it's so similar to what's going on right now with Russia and Ukraine except um, I saw myself I told them how they said oh someone is outside to fight me and I said all right let's go we go fight you know like we on it so I went outside and I saw it was a group of people like a whole lot of people and they had we say mushy meaning machete you know knives and stuff and the person who 
started all of this was nowhere to be found who had me go outside to help them fight but I was standing there by myself and um, I remember saying like looking at them and they were coming after me with all the machetes and the knives and you know and I'm there trying to fight back it was just me against it, it seemed to be hundreds of people with knives just trying to, and I wasn't running I was like we gonna fight this out till the end um, but then anyways, I grabbed one of the small child and that was with them and I went into a house and I closed myself in the house and um, I told them through the window I was like, I don't want to fight. I don't know. I don't even know what we're fighting for. I don't want to fight. But if I have to kill this child for y'all to leave me alone, I have to kill the child. But I don't want to. So I took the child outside and I held the child and was like, I had a knife in my hand and keep in mind um, with dreams they're what we call familiar spirits so even though I'm saying a child that child can possibly be a demon so don't take it as if I'm trying to kill a, a true child right um, a real child so I said I was going to slit the neck of the child if y'all don't leave me alone so they said no so they put their weapons down I put my weapon down and we both shook hands and said we don't even know what we're fighting for this war does not make any sense why are we fighting it it's pointless and after that i saw a drone that was circulating the area it was a huge drone and um, just to let you know we are being watched you know whether you think or not we are being watched in our daily lives everything we do we are being monitored we are being watched so at this point as believers we really need to rise up and pray pray like we've never prayed before the mediocre prayer is not going to work the five ten minutes prayer it's not going to work we really need to get down on our knees and pray and even here in the church i don't know why i'm going this way but when pastor asks us to pray there's a reason because there's something that needs to be broken in the spirit we need to open our mouth and pray even if you don't feel like it push yourself through it that's the enemy trying to limit you from praying so i just have to say that okay no all right so the drum was circling and um it i said to the people who were fighting there was like an underwear that they were trying to zoom in on and I said okay well I can help you guys with that and I position it right and so let the drone you know come down and 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 do what it has to do but at the same time I'm watching everything that's going on around me and even in the dream I'm like we're just fighting now there's a drone now there's a underwear what is going on that's me in the dream and I heard clear as day RFID chip and I was shocked I woke up and when I woke up it's like I was still seeing the open portal whereas if I closed my eyes I would have went back in and there are different realms everyone there I do know I've shared with pastor before where I saw people um, it was just pure confusion on the land it was you know people are hungry there was no food and I've been praying on it and all that I've been getting constantly is famine what type of famine I don't know but I do feel like it's famine like as in food shortages and um, I'm not saying you need to go pile and stock everything up and all of that stuff but just be mindful as well so those are just the few that I, I there there are more but those are the important ones so let us just pray be watchful be mindful and you know because if they create a food shortage then you have well we have a choice but people are going to look at it like they have no choice but to go ahead and take this chip in order to eat so that's my few